Okay, we left the opposite of uh, explanation until now. So, it, in this particular example, just reading this thing right here, this is going to read the opposite of x because it sits to the left of x. If it was definitely to the left of a parenthesis, it would be the opposite of whatever in the parenthesis. So, we don't want to read this as negative x. We want to read it as the opposite of x until we know what x is going to represent. So if someone told me that x in this problem is the number negative 7, then this would read opposite of negative 7. So the opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. That's why we don't want to read this as negative x. It implies a negative answer. And in the case of x being a negative number, this expression is actually a positive 7. So over in this example, how are we going to read this? I'm going to read this as negative 2 times x cubed. So if someone told me that I want you to use x to be negative 3, I'm first going to plug in the negative 3. So now it becomes negative 3 cubed. It only belongs to the, to the x, and the cube only belongs to the x. So the order of operation says I have to do the exponent first. So I'm going to cube this. That's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which is negative 27. So now I have negative 2 times negative 27, positive 54.